Hi golfers, Nick here from Italian Golf. It's Wednesday, so welcome to another episode of Golf Talk. This week on Golf Talk, I'm reviewing the Tour Striker Smart Ball. So let's take a look. Okay, so you get two bits. You have the lanyard, which goes around your neck to hold the ball in place. And obviously this is the ball here. So all you have to do, by the looks of it, is inflate it, so. So I've taken a look at the Tour Striker website and Martin Chuck there does a good de demonstration on there. And he sort of shows different ways you can use this ball. So the first one I'm gonna show you is the one I'm gonna probably use the most, which is uh, when it's inflated. So you can adjust the strap on here. So you put it around your neck, so you can see it hangs down. I've adjusted the strap, so now the ball fits sort of between my forearms. So once you've got that ball in the right position, you're ready to then hit some shots. What I'm gonna to do to start with is just practice, and I suggest when you first get this between, between your forearms, just start off with some short swings, just brushing the ground as you go through. And then when you're ready, start to hit some shots. So to start with, I'm just gonna hit some short shots here. Okay, already I can feel, I can feel the difference. And although I try and keep my elbows pretty close together throughout the swing, I can really feel the ball between them. I think it's so important whenever you're working on something in your game or you're using a training aid. I think if you can get the feel for that, I think that's so important. So hit a few short shots. Once you've done that, you can sort of progress to the full swing and if you're one of those golfers that elbows separate then it's probably going to feel quite strange it feels a little bit weird for me but I'm my arms stay pretty connected and my elbows stay pretty connected so I'm going to try and hit some full shots here okay okay it felt pretty good actually um, I didn't feel like my swing was too different to what it normally is. I stopped a little bit on the follow through there, I think because I was trying to keep it between the arms. So let's hit another one, try and do a full swing. It's, it's not a problem if the ball falls out on the finish, I was just trying to keep it in place there. So let's try and hit full shot again. Okay, a little bit better. So. That felt really good. I made a really good co connection with that last shot there. And I think if you can keep the arms and the elbows the same distance apart throughout the swing, you've got a good chance of striking the golf ball well. So like I said, it's gonna help someone which elbows separate and they cast the golf club. And I see that quite a lot in a lot of golfers I coach. And I think sometimes just trying to feel the elbows staying together isn't enough. I think you need something in play so you can really get the feel. If you're struggling, I would start off with short swings to start with and it's probably going to make you use your body more effectively. It's important that when you swing you're, you don't sort of bend the arms to get to the top. I see that a lot where golfers sort of as they swing back they move to the right and sort of the elbows bend to get the club round. If you look at some of the best golfers as they swing back, their shoulder goes down and from face on, it almost appears that their arms are pretty straight. My left arm's straight, my right arm has bent to get to the top, as you can see from that position. So I'm gonna hit some shots from a couple of different angles and video them so you can see from down the line as well, because I think that's quite important. Another good use of the smart ball is if you deflate it. Okay, so once you've deflated it properly, to do that, squeeze the top. Okay, so I've deflated that. And another good use, which I'm gonna use this for, is for golfers that, as they swing back, their arms sort of get disconnected from their body. So you can see here, as I've swung back, my right elbow's come out, and my left arm has come off my chest. So you can place it under the left arm and to try and keep 
the connection between the left arm across the body. So in a lot of my golf lessons, I'll get golfers to put tees under their arms, but obviously it's very easy for them to fall out and feel a little bit awkward. So you can place it between the left one and the right arm. So it's important you keep these pressure points in the swing. So I'll be using it for that as well. So I think this product is awesome. I'm definitely gonna be using it in my students and for my own game to practice. I think it's great to use, keep the pressure points on the arms. It's great to have between the elbows to feel the connection. It really helps you use your body as you swing through. There's plenty of drills you can use this for. I've just shown you a couple there, but if you go onto tourstriker.com, Martin's got some great drills on there. You can use it for short game and putting. I'd be interested to hear your comments. Have you used this Tour Striker ball before? Are you interested in using it? Please post it in your comments below, or you can catch me on other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.